Hello everyone, it's Jessica here with another layout for the Thermoweb design team. Today I'm using the brand new toner card fronts in the haunted style. You, you can see I've actually been painting lately because I've got white paint around my fingernails from painting bedrooms at our farmhouse. But I am using this haunted set and I decided to pull out some Distress Oxide in weathered wood and just use my ink pad here to just kind of scratch it across that paper. And then I'm going to actually pull out my fuse laminating system and some cheesecloth here. I'm setting that to heat up at number three. That seems to work best for me. And I am wiping this off using some of my cheesecloth, which actually I'm going to use on my layout then. So I'm just putting a little bit of that color onto that cheesecloth and I'll use that as an embellishment, but it also acts as something to just dry up that ink and continue smudging it across my page, but it actually just wipes it right off of the toner sections of that toner sheet. So I can get a very good application. As you can see here, I've pulled out a craft and carrier sheet and my laminator is heated up so that one's running through. All I did was I placed my toner card front down on in between my little craft and carrier sheet and then I placed my foil sheet here which is by Brutus and Monroe right on top. You want to make sure that you're putting the silvery side down on your design and the color side up facing you. So I'm going to run that one through. While that's running through, I'm going to go ahead and cut some little strips here in my background paper. This is a Bella Boulevard background paper. I'm going to be using the Spell on You collection today and I just cut some little strips here with my Ulfa X-Acto knife and there's my other toner sheet that came out. They are both out now. I'm going to actually just tuck these in behind these. So I'm just cutting those little strips with my knife and then I am going to fold them back and do some machine stitching on these But I wanted to distress these edges first So I'm just pulling that out and doing that before I fold them back And I'm just using my bone folder to create a nice fold on those as you can see these toner sheets are just gonna peek out there I love those little witch hats. I thought they would look super cute in that purple color That's again purple sketch by Brutus Monroe and I'll link all of this stuff below in case you want to grab anything from any um any shop which uh everything will be from thermoweb today so i will link everything down below and these beautiful toner sheets along with another one um, that's called Harvest is in the shop now and that one has some beautiful leaves on it. You can see here my machine stitching is done. I just ran that through my sew machine back and forth real quick and I've got my photo here that I'm going to use on this layout of my baby girl last Halloween and I am just going to mat it first with some smooth white cardstock using some of my easy tear tape and I like the half inch size. It seems like a really nice size for for me and the things that I use it for like backing photos like this that easy tear tape is really super sticky so I know that's not going to go anywhere and it's going to keep my photos in place for a long time I'm going to use that same easy tear tape here on this layer as well I just want to map my photos using a bunch of layers of different patterns from this collection just to give it some pops of color so I'm just roughing the edges up with my fingernails on this one and then I've got a couple scrap pieces that I just had laying in this kit so I'm just using them to my advantage and using to mat this photo so they're just going to be kind of all staggered and wonky but I think it's going to look really cool and just add a lot of little pops of color here and there around my my little photo here of my baby girl and just add some nice layers in there so I'm just trimming the branding strip off of that little piece I like to recycle and use all of the things that I can possibly use so that's why I like to save these little pieces and use to layer my photos just going to trim the excess of this one off and rough up the edges again with my fingernails and that's going to pretty much do it for my photo um, I'm going to grab this little scallop sticker sheet here or sticker piece from this sheet and I'm just kind of cut off this little piece of it here and add beside my photo. I love putting scallops beside my photo so that's nothing new for me and I just think it looks so cute and just gives it a little pop of something. This little chipboard sheet is in the kit that I have so I'm just going to use this scary cute title. This goes perfectly with my layout. I love that it's multi-color. It goes really nice with the background paper and I'm usually not a pattern paper background girl. I'm usually an all white 
night background girl, but today I felt like I, it was time to pull out some pattern papers for a background. So I'm going to keep this one dark. Here's that cheesecloth coming in. You can see how I layer that in behind my photo. I'm just going to cut a piece off and I'm just going to tuck this in behind just for some added dimension and some texture. I'm going to pull out my Alter Bond liquid adhesive to glue on all of these cute little pieces that I've pulled out and I'll glue down my title piece as well just so that I can reinforce and make sure that that's all going to stay put for a long time. I went ahead and used the same glue under that cheesecloth and under my photos as well to make sure that everything is stuck down very nicely and I had it laying here so I figured it was just easy for me to just use that. So I've got these little stars and I'm pulling out some die cuts now. I'm just going to root through here and see what I can find to go with this layout. Um, I really like this little witch with the cat sitting on the broom. I thought that was a nice additive for right on top of my title. So I'm going to add her right up there and then... I'm just going to pull out some little stars and pieces and a little spider web. I wanted a little web to go at the top, so I'm going to use one of these corner ones and I'm going to pop one of my favorite little goofy-eyed or wiggly-eyed spiders for up there. But I'm just sorting through the rest of these die cuts, seeing what else I may want to add. I thought maybe that spider would work, but it's a little bit too big for my liking. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out my other spiders here in a second and add one of those on. I have the rest of these die cuts I'm just sorting through. I like to use a little bowl to sort mine through and that way I can just dump them right back in the die cut pack or Ziploc bag, whatever I decide to transfer them to. And I'm just gonna add these few little embellishments down here just for a little pop of something there. And I'm gonna grab some sequins too. I really like the Catherine Polar sequin mixes lately. Um, and I like my Spiegel Mom scrap sequins as well. But for this particular layout, I thought the Transylvania mix by Catherine Polar would be perfect and the colors go really well. It's a nice Halloween mix, so I think it's gonna work out nicely. Here, I'm just going to stamp my date using my Paige Evans roller date stamp. I just covered up the left side. That way I wasn't stamping that arrow right on that little embellished piece on the left side of that little tab. So I've got my date now on my layout. Here's my little spider stickers. I think I actually picked these up from Hobby Lobby at one point in time, but they're pretty old. So I don't know if they have them anymore, but I think I need to go check and get some more if they do, because I'm going to run out probably this year because they're super cute and I've been using them a lot lately. The rest of these embellishments, I'm just going to grab some of these small Gina K foam squares and I'm going to pop up some of these embellishments. The chipboards I'm just gluing down with that Alter Bond liquid adhesive but the smaller pieces and the little die cut pieces I will just pop up using those small foam squares. Those are my favorite ones. I love that the backing comes off really easily on them and they come in full sheets like that so you get a lot of them in a pack and they come in two sheets to a pack I believe so you get quite a lot in just one package of them. So I'm just going to continue sticking down the rest of my title here and finish embellishing that and then I will grab those sequins and my sequin tool and pop on all those beautiful sequins. Remember, I will grab all of the links for all the products that I use today and I will pop those all down in the description for you in case you want to grab anything from Thermo Web. And you can just click right on those links, super easy and simple. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you're notified whenever I post future videos and they will pop up for you on your YouTube. So here is the finished layout. I love how this one turned out and it's another finished layout of my sweet little baby girl. So thank you guys so much for watching and thanks for being here. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.